Hi there, and let's get to it. I've had a few people get in touch with me asking if it would be possible to use a standard digital offline workflow in DaVinci Resolve without relying on the optimized media system and without having to rely on the proxies and the cache either because those can also be quite heavy on some workstations. The answer is yes, you can make a lighter version of your footage outside of DaVinci Resolve using any kind of compression software. There's two ways to go about this based on whether your files will share the same extension. Let's say I'm trying to import some drone footage that was shot. Now, there's a mixture of different resolutions. Some of the first clips were recorded at full HD, but then some of the later clips came in 4K. I'm going to generate my transcoded media before I even start importing these. I'm going to be using Adobe's Media Encoder, but you can realistically use any compression software that supports the file types that you're about to feed it. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and select all of the clips that we've just looked at. So I'm going to give them a new folder to go into, and these will stay as my mp4 files. Now there's something quite important about this workflow. The reason why it's going to be so easy to switch your footage back to the high quality stuff after you're done editing it on your timeline is because the file name of the compressed media will match exactly to the file name of the original, including the extension code .mp4. At the moment, it's uh, added a bit of an underscore one to the end of all my files, so I'm going to have to select and manually change all of these. And now I can go in and control exactly what my encoding data will be. So I can go down here, make sure that it's exported as full HD, which will ensure that our 4K media is transcoded down into the full HD resolution. I also want to make sure that the frame rate matches. And I'm definitely going to lower my bitrate to make sure that we keep this nice and light as a process and make really light files. And I'm going to say OK. And once I'm finished setting this up, I just have to click play and go take a break while this runs in the background. I now have my transcoded MP4 files. If I select one of the last clips, which I know to be 4K, I now see that it's full HD. So now I'm going to find this folder on my computer select all these video files and drop them into my media pool. And selecting these, I can also reveal that the media is now at full HD. I'm going to make a dedicated bin and place all of them in it. And I could relink these right here and now, but I think it would be more helpful to see why this process needs to be made in the first place. So I'm going to go into my edit page and I'm going to generate a new timeline based on these clips. I now have these really light, highly compressed HD video files that I can edit with and it's really easy to scrub and it's really easy to trim with and I'm going to come across no issues whatsoever. But once it's time to start either color grading or applying visual effects or of course delivering and rendering out the final video, I'm going to have to switch these back to the originals. You always want to have the highest quality footage associated with your timeline before you export. Well, because they share the exact same names and extensions as the original clips, it's enough for me to just select this batch of clips, leaving out the timeline, right click and choose Change Source Folder. Right now it's looking inside Transcode MP4, but I'm going to browse and access the original folder. Select that and say Open and Change. And you may have noticed there was a very slight shift in the viewer when this happened, because when the videos were first compressed in Media Encoder, they lost some of their original color quality due to quantization, as well as some of their clarity because the resolution was changed so dramatically. So if I was to select any one of these now, you can see that the link now points to the original location of the footage. In fact, I can right click on one of these and say Reveal in Media Storage which will reveal on the left-hand side in the media pool that we've now gone back to the original storage. And likewise, I can also right-click and say Open File Location to see it inside of my Windows Explorer. And that will also very helpfully point us right back to the 4K footage, which means I have successfully relinked to the original media. As you've probably guessed, I can very easily select all of these, right-click, and once again change their source folder back to the compressed media if I want to keep editing any further and avoid lag issues. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.